I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I just finished up an activation here at Park Kilo 6532 in Western New York and using the Rybakov antenna for the first time. I just made it last night. Let's go take a look at it. All right, so the Rybakov antenna definitely does not suck. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, performance from this thing. Uh, I'll show it to you here. All this starts with uh, four to one on on. Uh, we got a 25 foot element uh, connected and then I'm using six 17 foot uh, radials uh, connected to the ground side. That's going to a one to one and then the coax is going into the car. Take a step back so you can see it's going up. That's a MFJ uh, 33 foot telescoping mast to antenna wires that going up all the way. It's coming back down and you can see a lot of the radials are marked with with the cones just so that people don't step on them or whatnot. Just hit tune on 17 meters and we'll see what the SWR is and it's flat all across the band. Kilo zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Kilo zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Kevin, are you pedaling right now? Roger, Roger. Um, uh, you're about a five seven fifty seven over. Roger, Roger. I got you a five 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 here in Western New York. I am running full power, uh, hundred watts. I'm testing out a new Rybakov uh, vertical that I built. Uh, but I'll turn it down and we can see how low it goes if you want to. Yeah, awesome. I'm on my Zygu running five whiskey, so go ahead. I'll listen. Over. This is 10 watts, 10 watts. This is to uh, the Rybakov and Tenecu. 5-4, great audio and signal. Keep going. Over. Okay, 5 watts, 5 watts for the number 2 light. 5-3, good audio and signal. Go again. You bet, still a 5-3 with good audio, copied every word, over. You bet, copied every word, good audio and signal, over about a 5-2, five, 5-2. Two, five, two. Quick look at 15 meters, the SWR again, pretty clear all across the band. No problem with the tuner. And here's what we, happens with uh, 10 meters. Try to tune it and doesn't like it. The SWR, about 1.5 across the band. All right, same thing on uh, 12 meters. settings and we'll put this in the emergency mode and see after it restarts if the emergency tuner can uh, deal with it. So we're in emergency mode you can see the E up there and uh, let's hit the tuner. All right and we'll check the SWR. And it's flat. Obviously though, with uh, emergency mode, we'd be limited to 50 watts, but, but that's plenty. And if you wanna take it out of the emergency mode, just go into settings, others, emergency, check that off, and then restart and it's back to normal. CQ POTA, CQ POTA, CQ POTA. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. QSL, QSL, got your buddy, got you in the log. Have a great day, mate, 7-3. Kilo, November 9, uniform. Mike Whiskey Zero, Kilo Alpha X-Ray. Mike Whiskey Zero, Kilo Alpha X-Ray. Germany Zero, Mike Tango Kilowatt. Golf Zero, Mike Tango Kilowatt. November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. I'll copy with a 5-7 at Park Victor Echo 0451 QSL. November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. Mike, good to hear you today. Um all right, I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I was just really impressed with the performance of the Rybakov. Um, you know, it, I, I made contacts on 10, 12, uh, 15, 17, 20, and 40. Um, I didn't try anything digital, so I didn't use 30, but 
that's something I'll try another time. And we're back. So, like I said before, I wasn't planning on doing this video. Uh, it's the next day and came back. I had some thoughts last night and uh, kind of wanted to wrap things up and talk about what might be next. So, first off, uh, definitely got to give credit to uh, Walt K4 OGO. Uh, his channel, Coastal Waves and Wires, and then Tim, uh, G5TM. Uh, both of them have done a phenomenal job explaining this antenna in more detail, showing its capabilities. Definitely go, uh, if you haven't already, watch those videos. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, check out their channels. Um, they're doing really amazing things. Uh, also, another good reference, there was an article in the April 2019 QST that talks about the 3 8 wave antenna. Uh, very similar, so definitely that's another good resource if you want to learn more about this. Second final thought, every antenna is a compromise, especially when operating portable. There's certainly going to be some compromises that come along with this antenna, um, whether it's loss or just the requirement of a tuner. Uh, but th there's certain advantages too, and it's, antennas are about more than just SWR, and, and Tim goes into this a lot. He talks about the radiation patterns and the gain. Uh, from verticals like the right of I was drawn to this antenna because of the, the ease of, of setup and the deployment. I wasn't planning on using it and because of the winds, I, I took down the inverted V I had up prior and, and, and figured this was a good opportunity to test this out. This was the exact use, use case that I was envisioning uh, when I first learned about this antenna. Third final thought, I gotta do a follow-up video. Uh, this time though, I want to come out with the ICOM 705, see how this does at QRP levels. I'll use the MAT 705 tuner so it shouldn't be a problem. And I'll make sure that I try it on all the bands, including 30 meters. I'll do some digital, some FTA, and see how that works. I'll also bring out the Nano VNA and I'll get some SWR readings and see what this thing looks like on each of the bands without a tuner. I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned because I'm going to do that follow-up video. And if you got comments or questions, leave them down below. Make sure to click like and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. 7-3. I'm Mike, N2, M-A-K. Uh, I want to come out with the ICOM 705 next time and uh, 